Hello students. In the previous class, you have learnt the human digestive system, various parts, how they do digestion. Today's topic is mechanism of digestion. What is the mechanism of digestion? We eat various type of food which contains various components like carbohydrate, proteins, fats, vitamins, minerals, etc. How these food passes to the various parts of the digestive tract. So when it passes through various parts of the digestive tract, how, what happens to these components? How the digestion takes place step by step? Today you are going to learn in mechanism of digestion. Here in the mechanism of digestion, already you have learnt in nutrition in amoeba, there are five processes. One is ingestion, two digestion, third absorption, fourth assimilation and the fifth one is ejection. So let us see first ingestion. What is ingestion? Ingestion is taking in food. Through mouth, human beings take in food. When the food enters the mouth or in the buccal cavity, the saliva mixes with the food and it moistens the food and the salivary amylase act on the food and it convert carbohydrate and it digests carbohydrate into maltose. Then the tongue helps the uh, food to uh, mix it well with saliva and the teeth chew the food. Before it is passed into the food pipe, the food has to be masticated by teeth. So this is what happened when it enters into the mouth, the first process ingestion. Next, the chewed food is passed into the esophagus. How it is passed into the esophagus? Through the peristaltic movement. So the next process is digestion. What is the meaning of digestion? Already you have learned. It is a process where complex molecules are converted into simpler form by the biological catalyst known as enzymes. So complex food is converted into simple form by enzymes. So now the first step in digestion Carbohydrates are digested in the mouth by salivary amylase. Then the food from the mouth is passed to stomach through esophagus. You have already learnt the food digested in the mouth is passed into the stomach, uh, into the uh, esophagus. That is food pipe through the rhythmic contraction of the muscles which helps to move the food in the esophagus. That movement is known as peristaltic movement. The next when the food enter into the J shaped organ. Stomach. What are the glands present in the stomach? They are gastric glands. Gastric glands secrete uh, gastric juice which contains hydrochloric acid, pepsin, renin. Hydrochloric acid makes the uh, food acidic so that pepsin can act on it and renin it is secreted in infant. So what is the function of uh, pepsin? In the stomach, the protein is converted into peptides by the enzyme pepsin. This pepsin enzyme will act on acidic pH because the hydrochloric acid makes the food in the stomach acidic condition. Next, from the stomach, the food is passed, the food is semi-digested. Only protein is digested here, no carbohydrate digestion here because that amylase other enzyme cannot digest carbohydrate cannot be digested in acidic medium so semi digested food is passed to small intestine uh, how this is passed from the pyloric sphincter muscles of the stomach pushes the food to uh, small intestine small intestine secrete juice and receives bile and pancreatic juice already you have learned Intestinal glands also secrete juice and uh, the duodenum part of the small intestine. The first part of the small intestine receives bile from liver and pancreatic juice from pancreas. The bile juice, what is the function of the bile juice? Bile juice performs emulsification of fats. What is the emulsification of fats? The fat molecules, the bigger size is broken down into smaller ones. 
then that is known as emulsification of fats if the bile juice did not perform the function of emulsification it cannot be digested by the enzyme in the small intestine next the uh, pancreatic enzymes this bile juice act on uh, fat molecules it converted to smaller globules fat globules next the pancreatic juice which uh, pancreas secrete three uh, enzymes that is pancreatic amylase pancreatic trypsin pancreatic lipase so these enzymes act on carbohydrate pancreatic amylase act on carbohydrate it converted into glucose the same way trypsin act on protein and it converted into amino acid the same way lipase act on fats it is converted into fatty acid and glycerol so various pancreatic enzymes and small intestine secrete the intestinal juice convert the complex yeah, semi digested food which receives from the stomach is converted into simpler forms now the food completely digest in small intestine now the nutrients are released in the small intestine next the nutrients are ready after digestion so now what is the next process the third process is absorption from the word itself you can understand the nutrients has to be absorbed how the absor absorption of nutrients takes place in the small intestine the walls of the small intestine which has villi it has got villi that wall has small finger like projection which is known as villi the, in the villi you can find that lactase what is lactase lactase are lymphatic vessels which is found inside the villi which helps in the absorption of nutrients from the uh, from uh, the intestine next the food is or uh, the nutrients are absorbed next the process is assimilation what is assimilation the absorbed nutrients are utilized for various function how this assimilation is done because this villi and lactals are uh, rich in blood capillaries which increase the surface area of small intestine to absorb the nutrients and it is sent into the blood from the blood it has to be sent to all parts assimilation is uh, distribution of digest food to all parts of the body matlab each and all parts of body that is each and every cell of the body receives the nutrients which is absorbed by villi through the blood it is uh, it reaches the uh, each and every cell of the body so the distribution of digest to food or nutrients into each and every part of the cell so the cell utilize this uh, nutrients and the energy is used for various purpose on generating new cells or burn out old cells may be made from this so various functions are performed by uh, the nutrients which is by the process of assimilation the next process is excision what is excision that is elimination of undigested food so small intestine complete digestion takes place the next part of the small intestine next part is uh, the large intestine so the after the complete digestion the unwanted materials undigested food which is passed into the large intestine there the uh, water and ions which are present are absorbed by large intestine the undigested food is a waste material is uh, eliminated through the uh, anus how this undigested waste materials because uh, throughout the alimentary canal the muscles uh, rhythmic contraction takes place through the peristaltic movement the anal sphincter muscle which exists the waste material or fecal matter in this way the mechanism of digestion takes place in human beings 